Our top story, one of Russia's most active volcanoes erupted on Tuesday, shooting a vast cloud of ash far up into the sky and smothering villages in drifts of grey volcanic dust. It triggered an aviation warning around Russia's far eastern Kamchatka Peninsula. Take a look at this report. Large clouds of dark ash rose into the skies of Russia's far eastern Kamchatka Peninsula after one of the country's most active volcanoes erupted on Tuesday. It's nine in the morning, said one woman under a darkened sky. The ash is falling. The Shivaluch volcano erupted just after midnight and reached its peak about six hours later. The ash cloud from the volcano covered almost 42,000 square miles, according to the Kamchatka branch of Russia's geophysical survey. <laughs> it created the deepest ash the area has seen in 60 years. Tuesday's event could have a larger impact on the climate than the massive eruption at a volcano in Iceland in 2010, said WWF climatologist Alexei Kokorin. This effect will uh, cause some small cooling, small cooling, maybe uh, 0 0.1 Celsius degrees, maybe even less, maybe a bit more, nobody knows yet. Yeah, uh, in short period, maybe one year, maybe smaller, maybe a bit larger. Anyway, it's small effect, but effect in cooling. Around 24 hours after the initial eruption, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake struck off the Kamchatka coast, the geological survey said. Russian scientists said the quake was an aftershock from another earthquake that happened on April 3rd. About 300,000 people live on the vast peninsula, which extends into the Pacific Ocean, northeast of Japan. There were no immediate reports of casualties, but experts warn that further major ash clouds could appear. The Kamchatka Volcanic Eruption Response Team also issued a red notice for aviation, and caution that ongoing volcanic activity could affect international and low-flying aircrafts. Shivaluch's last major eruption happened in 2007. It's had an estimated 60 substantial eruptions in the past 10,000 years.